Hi, I'm Leanne, and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Hello guys. I know it's been a really long time since I've done a video and also posted to Instagram. If you don't follow me there, I'm not gonna say that you should because I haven't been there in I think two weeks now and I haven't posted a video since I think last Tuesday or Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, I don't know. It's just been a really busy time for me and I just wanted to do a life update and tell you what's been up because I have been getting some subscribers lately and I don't really understand social media where it's like if you post consistently and your content is good, like whatever, your numbers seem to either go up stay the same or even go down and sometimes when you're really inconsistent and you don't even say anything you just disappear for a while you start to see an influx of people and i just i don't i don't really get it but honestly if you are new to my channel and you don't leave after this video just thank you so much for subscribing my channel is so random like it started with beauty and then i was doing some lifestyle and then it was beauty again and then added some vlogs and just everything and i just feel like i don't know why people follow certain channels i think the evolution of somebody's channel is the most interesting. Okay, back to my video. I'm sorry, the sun is like coming out now and thank God because Germany doesn't get too much sunlight but we've been getting a lot of sunlight lately and I'm not even gonna complain about that. Let me just turn off my ring light. Honestly, I have no idea what to do with the light so bear with me. I wrote this whole list of things that I wanted to say in my video and I was gonna make it really natural and just kind of like let it all out but I kind of forgot a lot of things so let me just start hi i'm leanne and i don't know what the hell i'm doing so at this time i am 28 years old i have been unemployed for two actually one year and four months and it is a nightmare it's a complete nightmare it feels like i want to move on with my life which, well it doesn't feel like it i do want to but i can't because i don't have any money and it's been really difficult coping with that because i do want to move here to germany and be with my fiance finally i mean we are engaged and i know it sounds really stupid to get engaged while we're separated and honestly it is stupid but i just felt like it's not that i was bored in our relationship see now i'm just like babbling and whatever i'm not bored it was just a step toward really like solidifying our relationship more i i don't i don't know like i don't even believe in marriage really because i mean whatever it's just a certificate and um, I don't even like the whole engagement thing because hey, if you're gonna marry me, marry me. If you're gonna stay with me forever, stay with me forever. I don't really need a ring. But anyways, it's been a really big damper on my mood because you know, working so hard on social media and just not getting anywhere with it really is very difficult when you're this old. I know, I'm not old, okay, but I'm kind of old. Like, as soon as you start getting closer to 30, you're like freaking old. When I was a teacher for that one year, my coworker told my friend, my coworker, my ex coworker, and me that after 30, everything goes downhill. So I am really trying to out live out the last years of my 20s and try to figure out what I wanna do with my life. And it's just not helping when I'm trying so hard on social media because I do want to make it somewhere with all this work, but it's too slow for me. And I'm trying to really settle down with my life and just help my parents hit retirement sooner because they are getting really old <sighs> on with the notes that I wrote down on my, my phone I've made $40 from social media stuff that actually went into my pocket the reason I haven't been posting to Instagram is because I am part of the skincare community like I put myself in there and I hate it I am so tired of it because it's not even just the skincare community but it's just so much more important that you are really smart about the stuff that you buy and put on your face and it just is so annoying these days where everybody's just lusting after products that just were released for me i'm just not in a place where i just not even financially like i just don't want to spend anything that i have on things that just come out and of course i do occasionally because that's just what we do something new comes out it sounds interesting whatever but i just i'm smart about how I spend my money on new things. Anyways, I'm also just really tired of doing reviews 
on my Instagram where my captions are just so freaking long and I take so long to do them and it's just the same thing like day in and day out that I was doing where I was just leaving comments on everybody's things and just saying the same thing and it was just so infuriating to me that this is what social media has come to where we all just want to climb on top of each other but use each other and I don't know it's just weird like you want people to get out of your way but you want to use them to do that <sighs> there are so many people on social media that i just do not respect because of that and it's like if you don't want to support me that's totally fine but unfollowing me or something because i don't know i don't know it's just it's all bs i think the last draw for me was when drunk elephant released their retinol product and people were just jumping on that and there were so many posts about that that they didn't even know how to use retinol and that they're 20 like in their what do you call that early 20s i don't call myself a skincare expert but i have been reading magazines since early years in college and basically retinol is the most powerful anti-aging ingredient and you do not want to use that if you're too young and it's common sense like if something you don't know how to use don't just buy it because it's new and people are using it and talking about it like retinol just became a trendy thing and that's kind of the thing that i got really sick of like ingredients become trendy when they were always there and now all these young women are just constantly falling into the trap of like oh my god anti-aging like i need to use that right now but you know it's like anti-aging at a young age can just start with sunscreen i'm going off on a rant i'm sorry i did not want this video to be long but i'm just like i'm so tired of it and read my notes the comments were just the same like wow beautiful post beautiful picture love it like never use this product but i would like to try it one day like it was just the same thing for me and i never wanted to start social media for it to become so so mundane and it seems like the intellect was just dropping for me because I was using the same vocabulary every single day and I hated it not to mention that when you are on Instagram and you have a business profile and you're like you know you're talking about one specific thing like skincare for instance for me and you're getting these weird DMs from Instagram accounts that are not even verified you don't know what the brand is but it's like sunglasses fashion stuff like does my instagram account look like i do any of those things just crazy i'm just tired of being unmotivated and uninspired my creative side is actually really it's it's pretty good like i've always had a very big imagination and i'm very open-minded and i'm weird man and i'm goofy but i was so rest restricted on instagram and it just held me back from being myself because you know you want to stick to one niche or whatever which i hate that word if i hear that word one more time i'm gonna like I'm gonna shoot this pig that you can't see then your numbers will go down like you can't grow and god that's just such bs like if you are interested in a million things and i don't know you just love those things just do them like i can't even tell you why i follow a certain person on instagram like i don't know why i follow people most of the time it's because they're very nice and they're very friendly and i don't hate their um not products pictures it's not because like i follow this person because she does blah 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 i just connect to people i connect to feelings i don't connect to pictures like what they talk about i know it's like whatever if i make any sense besides instagram though i got really tired of blogging because i'm not getting any traffic to it and my main source of traffic to my blog is Instagram and if I don't continue to advertise my blog posts in my bio then I'm never gonna get traffic to it I know about the whole SEO thing I'm never gonna buy bots okay I'm never gonna pay somebody to help me with that it's just like I'm so tired of it but I still do it because I enjoy writing writing was always a creative outlet for me I wouldn't say it was one of my passions but I do like writing and I'm just tired of working hard for no pay I know I mentioned that already but it's it's a huge thing because there's so much money on the internet and people are working so hard to actually make that into a living i don't think that it's fair that we put in so many hours to get nothing for it i'm not standing here and like stamping my feet and saying it's not freaking fair life is so unfair and i am like afraid of hard work or something i think 
that in any case people are even more willing to put in more hours because they want to make this work and they know how hard it is so i'm not complaining here but come on this is the internet so i'm kind of complaining overall i got bored i got really 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 bored it's just everything was the same thing for me every single day i really appreciate these breaks like i mentioned this in my last video like i don't remember when but i really appreciate these breaks where i put my phone down and i go out and enjoy my life my fiance and i we are like really moving forward in our relationship and i feel so content with him that social media like it's so funny because i want to make that into like my life my career but at the same time it, i feel like it's not even worth it because real life is just i don't know there's just something about leaving the house and basking in the sunlight and not really just like sitting out your window doing work of course that's a dream especially for me i do i would love to work from home i have social anxiety and for me to even think about going on another interview it makes me want to vomit but i don't know i'm trying to make this work and i don't want to leave so okay the thing is i love sharing things and i realized that that's where the excitement is but i was just sharing the wrong things so when i was just doing a lot of skincare things on instagram i really liked the thought of like ooh, a new product i want to share it with people on the internet not that i really cared about this specific product and that's kind of the thing about social media now it's just talking about one product at a time and never talking about it again or that's the only product that you talk about that that's the only product on your feed and it's just everything's just boring so i don't want to leave but my content won't be too frequent anymore my schedule i will be posting every saturday and even when i go back home next month and i stay there for another three four months before i see my fiance again i am just gonna keep to saturday because i don't really know what's gonna happen with my life when i go back it's kind of difficult for me to talk to my parents about what i've been doing and how i've been feeling it's just you know asian failings and whatever but i'm not doing too well but the same time despite everything i'm okay so again from now on youtube will be every saturday i will continue my blog and continue with my schedule there which was once a week every sunday i'm not even gonna focus on anything specific it's just gonna be everything you're gonna see everything from like vlogs lifestyle beauty personal advice you know things like that did i say personal advice i meant like personal and advice and um, i can't tell you about instagram i haven't opened that app once in two weeks since i was last on it because i'm just mentally not prepared to go back into it and i think that's totally fine instagram is very toxic a lot of internet things are toxic but i don't want to go back into it thinking that you know i have a plan now that i'm just gonna do whatever i want to do and end up feeling uninspired again so i'm just gonna give myself some time to get back into it i mean if you think about it like it's not a big deal but you know when you're trying to be really serious about your life and stuff obviously it's serious but if anything if i go back it will be like a public personal profile i don't even care about the business aspect anymore i'll just be like sharing anything that i want to food fashion beauty who cares i don't i don't really care too much anymore i really just need to do things for myself and that's what i think a lot of people need to realize when they're on social media they really need to do things for themselves because everybody's just out to get each other and you really need to focus on yourself and put out things that you really love that people can really relate to and that's how people end up really liking you because they see the spark in your eye when you're talking about things that you really want to talk about i have some friends that follow me and they don't interact with my posts at all and i feel like i became so distant from humans you know what i'm saying like i just felt like a like a business person that's just totally not me anyways thank you if you watched it to the end you can share with me how you feel about social media you could tell me how you're feeling about your life right now if you're happy i'm like really happy for you and um, if you're struggling with something or struggling with something similar to me i just want you to share it with me because that's the whole thing about my life i just always like to connect to people i don't really care about anything else i just want to see the human side of people okay then well enough with the seriousness thank you guys so much for watching do subscribe if you want to see my saturday videos and if you want to see blog posts every sunday you can subscribe to my blog 
and get pulse notifications. And also you can click the bell so you don't miss a video here. You can follow me on Instagram. And when I come back, I will, I'll just post whatever. And I hope you guys enjoy it. <sighs> Thank you for all your support. Anybody out there who's been watching, who's been liking, commenting, um, I really appreciate it. I don't really know about the future, but for now I will be continuing this journey on social media and hopefully we'll get along. We'll all get along. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you all in my next video on Saturday. Bye.